Hi everyone, um, Andrew here. Just want to show you something I've created uh, called the rounding tool, this new resource. Now it's nothing kind of particularly uh, amazing, uh, but it just might help kids understand the, the whole rounding concept. So um, you start by asking them uh, if they can round a number. Now the one I'm going to provide you with uh, says rounding this number here, 136.25, uh, but uh, you can pretty much do any. And the idea is you take your uh, piece of paper um, and you fold it and you, you reveal one section at a time. So let's start here at the bottom. And um, as you can see here, you've got uh, 100 and 200 and 136.25 obviously lies between uh, these two. Okay, so it's kind of this side of the line, so to the nearest hundred, multiple of a hundred. I think we should say, by the way, instead of to the nearest hundred, I think it's more helpful to children to say to the nearest multiple of a hundred or the nearest number of hundreds, because I think just saying the nearest ten or something confuses them or potentially does. So anyway, then um, we reveal the next section. It's like taking a magnifying glass to this. It's based on an old ITP that uh, some of you may remember. So then you just show the next uh, section. And what I've done is effectively magnified, and if you can see this, I've effectively magnified 130 and 140, uh, and now they can see the next bit. Show how clear this is, I'm going to put it right up to the camera. Okay, so 130 uh, to 140, and you can see the centre line, so to the nearest multiple of 10, it's actually 140 here. All right, now if I take this section here and uh, to the nearest whole number, well, let's, let's spread this, 136, let's take a magnifying glass to this section of the line. So here from 136 to 137 uh, at this end. And so now 136.25. So it's definitely 136 to the nearest multiple of one, nearest whole number. And you just keep doing that. So here we go. It's now in between these two values. So again, I can just go to the next section and you can just kind of keep going really and you can do it as much as you like. So here we go to the nearest uh, tenth. Uh, it is 136. Oh, it's this end this time. Okay, so it falls between these two. Now, uh, there it is as a very kind of simple, quick idea of how to use it. But as I say, print it out. Uh, you can change the numbers. I mean, I've, I've created it as a PDF, so it might not be that easy to, to change these numbers. But once you see the idea, you can create one in Word. Um, you can create, I did this one in Pages on the Mac. You can create one uh, in pretty much anything you like. Um, any software that will allow you to lay out. You might even be able to use Excel and create a table. And it's just this kind of expansion idea, kind of a lower tech version of the ITP. So, um, yeah, there it is. Very quick explanation. I'm sure you'll, once you print it out and play around with it, it'll become much clearer. But uh, there you go. Um, enjoy. Uh, do send me some feedback. Let me know uh, how you get on with it. Uh, it's, it's yours to use. Ch obviously change the numbers. Uh, I've chosen those so they go up and down. And there's even the halfway thing as well in there to play with. So have fun. And uh, that's all for now. Bye.